um, let's right click on our bridge here properties okay if you had other connections here if for later on you created another connection and connected another co network to this computer you could just simply could add this add that connection here uh, actually it is here but you just have to take it for example uh, as soon as you just um, add the connection here and it's enabled it would be coming in the list what you have to do just go ahead and simply just tick it and click OK and it will be added to your bridge um, network okay so that's about it I think it's finished for now in like a minute or two we would go ahead and talk about um, layer 2 forwarding, layer 3 forwarding and so on so you might want to just give it a break for a couple of seconds or minutes and we would be back again thank you for watching okay and finally the third part of the video well in the third part we're going to talk about layer uh, 2 uh, layer 2 bridging which actually a bridge is go uh, going to operate at layer 2 of the OZ model at the data layer and well uh, in layer 2 bridging the bridge is only concerned with the MAC addresses of the computers that are connected to the networks which are connected to the bridge and well uh, for those who don't know what is a MAC address a MAC address MAC is short for media access control and um, it is an it, it's an address which is built in into each of the network interfaces network cards outside in the world for every single network card this is a unique address and so at layer 2 it's only concerned with MAC addresses and it doesn't think about IP addresses at all okay but what happens here one thing before uh, we proceed ahead uh, actually bridge um, layer 2's as I said they are concerned with MAC addresses and they don't care with, uh, for IP addresses but in order to have connectivity you have to configure your IP addresses okay for you, because uh, actually for connectivity when you install actually the client service on each of your computers okay um, those client services in order to be connected to each other and have connectivity they have to connect through IP addresses and they cannot connect with MAC addresses the only thing that happens here on the bridge here is that in order to forward packets from this network to this network and from this network to this network in order to do this it only needs the MAC address and it doesn't care about the IP address okay so when we say that we don't care about IP addresses and the only thing we're concerned in layer 2 bridging is the MAC address is that for forwarding the packets through the bridge actually not about not connectivity in our network okay connectivity in our network we need it and for that we need the IP addresses okay so let's go back a little bit so here we are we're going to um, forward packets from this network to this network and in reverse okay well layer 2 bridges have to support promiscuous mode actually the network cards that are connected to them should support promiscuous mode and why what is promiscuous mode well when a computer receives a packet for example from this computer headed um, to this computer this computer would simply look at the packet if it's destined for itself it would just simply accept the packet and it would process it and it would send it to the upper layers of the OZ model and it would finally reach its destination uh, the software that is supposed to use it would use it but if it's not destined for the for it for itself what it would do if it doesn't not, it doesn't support promiscuous mode it would just simply drop it drop the packet and we'll forget about it okay but in a network that a com this computer here is acting as a bridge we need it to support promiscuous mode so that the packets are for example sent from this computer headed for this computer they have to go through the bridge okay um, it has to support promiscuous mode so that when it reaches when it actually receives packets that are not destined for itself it would not drop it it would actually process it and forward it for the, for its destination okay so first of all it has to um, support each of the network interfaces connected to it should support promiscuous mode okay well as we said the computer that is going to be the bridge okay the network interfaces that are connected to it these are assumed to be ports and they are not in network interfaces anymore this is port 1 for example um, the bridge would give them numbers this is port 1 and this is port 
2, okay? Whenever it receives a packet, a bridge in layer 2, whenever it receives a packet, for example, um, let's give this PC1. Whenever PC1, and let's give one of these PC3. Great handwriting, okay? Whenever PC1 wants to send a packet, um, it would send it to the switch, switch would send it to the PC1 wants to send a packet to PC3. The PC1 would send it to the switch. Set, switch would send it to the bridge. Bridge would send it to the PC3. But what happens at the bridge? Okay, the bridge when it receives the packet, it supports promiscuous mode. Okay, no problem. It would process the packet that it received. But what happens is that first of all, it would look in the packet. Okay, and to see if it has the MAC address of PC1. Okay, if it doesn't have the MAC address, it would create. Go ahead and create a table. Okay, for example here, and it would enter the MAC address of PC1 here as an entry, and it would look that is, and it would look that from what port that it received it. As you see here, it received the packet here from port one. Okay, so it would write the port one here, and it would write the MAC address of PC1 here, and that's it. Okay, if you're looking at that dynamic type that you uh, it's written there we will talk about it later okay so it will write the MAC address here and it would write the port that it received it from okay no problem so one thing if that packet is destinated for PC3 what happens is that first the sender address will be processed second it's the destination address it would look okay I process the des I process the source address of your packet and I entered it in my MAC table in my L2F table okay Next thing I have to do, I have to look at 